Welcome back to Flashpoint. This week, tensions with Iran taken to a whole new level when a barrage of Iranian missiles rained down on bases housing American troops inside Iraq. The president says no Americans were killed. Iran threatened to unleash war across the Middle East if the U.S. dared to strike back. President Trump says he would only retaliate with economic sanctions. The two sides seem to step back this week, but the crisis appears far from over. The Supreme Leader called the strike uh, a slap in the face. I would call it a slap on the wrist. It was really pretty minimal, and that was clearly the intent of the Iranian regime, was uh, not to kill Americans. Some even saying this attack was not Iran's real plan for retaliation after President Trump ordered the strike that killed one of their top generals. There's also a stunning backlash after the Trump administration briefed Congress on the Iran crisis. Senators in the president's own party slamming the administration. The worst briefing I've seen, at least on a military issue, in the nine years I've served in the United States Senate. Our duty under the Constitution is for us to debate when we go to war, and we, for, for one, are not going to abdicate that duty. Despite the criticism, most Republicans were satisfied defending the administration. Scott Stone, you saw two staunch Republicans right there, Mike Lee and Paul, um, who I mean, are as, about, as Republican as you can there get. There are not staunch Republicans <clears throat> on national security issues. Senator Mike Lee and Senator Rand Paul, I disagree with 99% of the time when it comes to national security issues. They are, mm. they are uh, so reluctant to use force almost any time. And, and so that's those two only. If most of the, the Republican senators I saw interviewed uh, thought it was justified, thought the briefing was, was solid. And I, I know one interview I saw with Mike Lee he was talking about how the administration wouldn't give you know, specific rules for when they would do, take the next steps. And I understand why they wouldn't want to put themselves in a box like that. So, sure. so that's just those two individual senators. Uh, well, I think that Bigger it's, picture Iran and how it's being handled. Yeah, I mean, I think that we, we're, we're, we're picking a war that most of America doesn't want. And, um, and the Republican senators that are against it, I mean, I think that that kind of puts that question of are we country or are we party first? And so, um, whether it's Democrat or Republican, I think that for in general, Congress is starting to say, you know, that this is this is our job to declare war. This is our job to figure out the parameters of, of the situation, and not the you know not job in the White House to decide what we're. Well, we got to be clear. This isn't picking a fight. This isn't. This is ending a fight. This is Iran started this provocation. They've been doing it uh, more and more over the last several months. Our embassy in Iraq was attacked, and that attack was fueled by. The Iranian uh, you know, regime. Yeah. So this is us retaliating against actions they've taken. And the fact that they responded in such a weak way, the uh, Iranian regime, it just shows that they don't want to mess with us anymore. They want this de-escalated because they don't want another uh, an, another uh, or, Soleimani or, attack. Or, or a lot of people feel like th that that this is just the beginning. This is not their, their real attack. You mentioned the, the um, killing of Soleimani. Uh, I, I heard a lot of people say this past week, um, hey, finally, President Trump did what his predecessors have not done. This was a bad dude doing bad things to Americans. It was time that he was uh, taken out. Thank goodness President Trump did this. Mm -hmm. um, and why Democrats don't understand that, we don't understand. That's what I hear people say. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I think, do you think, it, is, is that the issue? Uh, I'll ask you, Kate, is that the issue? Or is that Democrats are fine with this guy being taken out? They don't trust the president and how he handles it going forward. Well, I think it's a little bit of both. I think that it's partially, you know, I, I feel like there was an active choice from his predecessors to not take out this guy because of the the repercussions of what we're going to face now. But um, but I do also think that it's a lot to do with, I mean, this president has not shown that he's trustworthy to hold that office in the first place. And so having the capacity to just take out foreign leaders, I don't think that that's necessarily um, a, a moment to start trusting him. Well, he, he's not a foreign leader per se. He's a, he is a enemy combatant, and we are justified in doing so. The, the enemy fact combatant, that, I mean, that's... Well, he, he is directly responsible for terrorism and for killing hundreds of Americans. So, sure. uh, so no, I would no call that an enemy combatant. No, no doubt about that. Uh, on this same topic this week, after appearing on Fox News, Nikki Haley sent out a tweet saying, quote, the only ones mourning the loss of Soleimani are our Democrat leadership and Democratic presidential candidates. Do you really think that they're, the only people mourning are Democratic presidential candidates? Well, it, it's clear that I've, I've seen several of them interviewed where they talk about how, 
how this was a terrible thing that he shouldn't have taken this action, all these kinds of things. They could have been much more reserved, but they, the Democratic leadership in this country, they can't acknowledge anything that the government, the, 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 uh, the Trump administration or President Trump does as being right. They, it, whatever he does, it's going to be wrong somehow to them. So it, quite frankly, it's just... And it goes it, vice versa. I mean, we saw the president come out and blame the Obama administration this week. Well, they, they, I mean, they had eight years of very weak foreign policy. We, we looked weaker as a country after those eight years, and, and he's had a much stronger uh, position, and we're much more respected from a military standpoint. Uh, people don't mess, are, are less likely to mess with us when they fear reprisals. A lot of people will debate that, but we don't have any more time to debate it, so we got to go. Perfect. More flash went after this.